Rachel. Welcome back to Embers and Ash. My name's Rachel, if you didn't know. And where's my sister? Hello! <laughs> my name's Ashley, if you didn't know. And today I have my sister on for the video. <laughs> so if you guys have watched any of my videos, you probably have picked up on the fact that I don't know how to cook. And I really want to learn how to cook so that I can feed Rook. <laughs> so, Rachel's here to teach me. Today, I'm going to learn how to make chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. Oh my gosh. What? I didn't buy puff pastry. <laughs> because Ashley didn't buy the crust. Fantastic. <laughs> Step um, one. Wow, there's gonna be so many more dishes now. And such a mess. Crust okay. is so messy. Okay. Okay, cooking is fun. I'll measure first. I could ask Josh to buy the puff pastry on his way home. Yeah? Is that better? Because like this has to set and then you have to roll it. <laughs> there's flour everywhere. It yeah, like this sounds it. like my nightmare. Yeah. I hate baking. <laughs> okay. Hey guys. <laughs> New plan. Josh is going to bring home some crust. Yeah. I'm going to tell him that it's vital that he doesn't have a choice. I need crust. We started planning for making crust and realized how much we don't want to make the crust. Okay. So if he doesn't do it, then we're having chicken pot. <laughs> do you have paprika? Yes. Nice. Okay. I have this much. <laughs> I think I have extra. <laughs> I have smoked paprika. Perfect. Fun fact, everybody, there is no difference between smoked paprika and regular paprika. Are you serious? I mean, like, there is, but, like, is there? Well, Josh would say something about that. He smokes things. It's um, one of those things where it's like, you can tell me that it's like that, but it's just. It smells like, smoky. We don't have to have a debate. That's why I've Close your eyes. Smell? Okay. Smell? Okay. Which one was the <laughs> smoked? That smelled like the smoked one. No! <laughs> Wait, did you do that one first? Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, interruption over. Which one? The first one smelled smokier. Those were the hands you had them in. Check I think I should have let this though. Okay, cool. I don't remember. <laughs> You'll know! Okay, what um, are we starting with? The chicken. So Chicken. we'll get rid of the veggies. On the cutting board. Perfect. Um, actually, we're not going to cut it. We're just going to... Oh, amazing. I hate cutting chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to flavor it, we're going to bake it, and then we're going to cut it when we're done. The number one ingredient in chicken pot pie is chicken. You want to do do it on a cutting board. Get a cutting board. You just said I didn't need a cutting board. <laughs> I do not recall. <laughs> okay. Cutting board. Um, open up your chicken. And I'm putting the chicken on the cutting board? Yes. Ashley loves raw chicken. <laughs> I'm fine with other <laughs> raw meats, but I, it's too, it's almost phlegmy. It's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Should I preheat the oven? Sure. <laughs> 350. Okay, what? Um, to both sides, you're gonna put on salt, pepper, and smoked paprika. Smoked paprika. Now, the question is, why are we doing this to the chicken when we could just season the whole thing afterwards? <laughs> Don't ask questions you don't want answers. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll be the flipper. Wait, oh. oh, this is kosher salt. If anyone's wondering, I don't know what's kosher about it, <laughs> but Josh buys it. So now we're gonna rub, rub it, it in. It's like at a steak. Totally like a steak, but a chicken. <laughs> oh, I also want to add that my sister owns a bakery Happy Cakes in the Lower Mainland, and so she knows how to make cake. <laughs> Chicken. <laughs> Chicken. Um, do the same thing again. Okay. And then give it a rub. Can you rub it? Wait, why did you just wash your hands? Because I wasn't going to do it again. <laughs> but I haven't touched the chickens, so now I have to wash my hands. We might have to take a snack break eventually for Rook. Give to Rachel. Thoughtful. Okay, 
these are gonna go in the oven now for how long? I don't know. Until they're cooked. Until they're cooked. <laughs> Chicken is done. Chicken is done. Okay, let's do the veggies. You're gonna need a clean cutting board. Just so you know, I hate this cutting board. <laughs> Purpose it does this. Love that. Okay, peel the carrot. And then chop it into circles. So we used to have chicken pot pie a lot when we were kids. Our mom would make it for us. And when she would cut up the carrots, she would cut one of the carrot circles into a heart shape. And then whoever got the heart shape got the love for the evening. <laughs> was the winner. <laughs> you can only love one child at a time. Um, so we're going to make a heart carrot today because that's what we do in this family. Amazing. Do you know that carrots are root vegetables? I did not. You didn't? No. <laughs> I thought that a potato was. I honestly was assuming you would say, of course it is, because I'm just assuming that it's a root vegetable. <laughs> I don't think it is. Can you look it up? I can. I feel like it's a root vegetable because it's a freaking root. Right? I'm going to pick out the most perfect circle to make my heart. I'm pretty sure mom used to do it where she would just cut. Right? I don't think so. It was a beautiful oh, okay. It was a full heart. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. There it is. So beautiful. So beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Yams, beets, parsnips, turnips, rutabagas. Ooh, carrots. Carrots. Onions. Garlic, celery. I'm a professional. Okay, the recipe only calls for half a potato. Yeah, we're gonna do two potatoes. Is that okay with you? Like? Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I brought extra. I always do extra out of um, preference. Okay. Am I... Nope. Chop, chop. Wash, wash? Wash, wash. And we want cubes. Cubes. If Josh doesn't come with that puff pastry, I'm gonna be really upset. It's the best part of chicken pot pie. I should add that I'm a baker, not a cooker but I have basic kitchen skills which my sister lacks <laughs> yeah she can feed herself <laughs> I can but not well I think my issue is I just don't know how to season things because I can put stuff together right. but when I season it it turns out like garbage interesting because that's just like a game of trying to figure it out like you just taste it and then add more I think my taste buds are broken <laughs> oh because <laughs> it just never tastes Right. Well, at least you have Josh. <laughs> yes. Because usually I'll take part in the cooking, but Josh will do all the seasoning. Um, that's all you. I'm going to walk away because I don't want to cry. Oh. Ooh. I have a baby. <laughs> this is awkward. What if I take the baby? <laughs> what? I don't want to disturb him. <laughs> okay, I'll do it, but Yay. I'll cry. Yay. <laughs> Thanks. I'll open the window. Thank you. So Josh taught me this trick to get the flakies off of garlic. Basically, you just break up the head of garlic into a container, and then if you just shake it aggressively, all the flakies will come off. Um, I've never done it myself, though. He always does it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing has happened. <laughs> I swear Josh does it and it works. Okay, we're just gonna peel it off. Like all of the skin was supposed to come off? All of it. That's crazy. And he does it in like 20 seconds. We'll have to ask him about that. Yeah. I'm so glad we're not making crust. Yes. What a nightmare. I feel like this is the best way to do broccoli. Yes. Because you waste so much money on the stock. Yes. Good yeah. Time. Josh is gonna be so happy when he gets home. With the puff pastry. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's good, right? Perfect. The fun thing about recipes like this is that you can do whatever you want. Here's, kind the, of. here's the thing though, I tell myself that and then I destroy recipes. Just don't destroy it. Okay, we are gonna enter cooking land. Cooking land! Cooking land! Because I'm all about the prep land. I know how to prep food. I don't know how to cook food. You're gonna cook it? We've been over this. Yes. <laughs> okay, you need a big pot. Big pot. Okay, add a chunk of butter. Just follow your heart. I feel good about butter. Oh yeah, yeah. Like this good about butter. I love that for you. <laughs> chunk of butter. In the pot. Um, do you have like a wooden spoon? 
I have so many wooden spoons. This is my favorite of the wooden spoons. Perfect. Okay. So how's things? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One. Oh, would this be a good feeding break? Yeah. Okay, I'll be back while I feed my son. So it turns out that Josh can't get puff pastry for us. So we're gonna do a quick whip out and get some puff pastry and come back and continue on with the cooking. See you in a bit. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're back and we have the puff pastry. Show the audience. <laughs> Beautiful. I feel like you're the one who should be saying this because you're the, <laughs> you're the lead. So when you make chicken pot pie, you typically make it with um, pie crust. This is a Rachel hack out of laziness, is that <laughs> I make all the good stuff in the pie and then I cook puff pastry and then you put that on top and that acts as your pie crust and it's so way good. delicious sear. Yeah. Also, I feel like I need to clarify. I know that I don't need to cook food for my son, and so really I don't need to learn how to cook to feed my son right now, but I'm eventually going to have to feed him real food, and I need to know how to do that. So, that's why we're here. It's going to be chicken pot pie chicken every pot day pie. for his whole life. Every day. <laughs> okay, do you want to add the carrots, onions, and garlic into the pot? How do I, how do you want to cut? Um, like, however you want, really. I would do like that, and then <laughs> cut in half. Okay. <laughs> this is how we cut chicken. This is me being a supportive sister. What time did I feed you? Long time. One thirty. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. I have to feed him again. <laughs> it's been two seconds to you. It's been a while for me. Okay. So Ashley's feeding her baby, so we're going to have some Rachel time. Um, a little bit about me. <laughs> Go on. Tell them about yourself. Um, Ashley is my little sister, despite popular belief with her being married and with a child. I am unwed. <laughs> Um, I do a lot of baking in my life, and I do a lot of cooking because I like to eat the things that I cook. I have a dog. I have a very cute nephew. You have a boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Such an accomplishment. <laughs> He's so amazing. Um, I wear a lot of athleisure. <laughs> very much a character trait. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I'll put on the screen some of your cake. Fun! Ashley's gonna show you some of my cakes. I know. I got to compete on the Food Network with my friends. Yeah, you're a celebrity. Doing cake stuff, not doing chicken pot pie stuff. And that's it! Ashley will be back now. <laughs> okay, round three. Um, okay, we need chicken broth and we need to do something about this broccoli. Okay, so we're gonna do chicken broth next, and we could just do store-bought chicken broth, but... We're better than that. We're better than that. <laughs> well, I'm not better than that. <laughs> Josh is better than that. He makes his own chicken broth. Now the recipe gives a measurement. <laughs> now the recipe gives a measurement, but we're gonna add this much. <laughs> Chicken stock. <laughs> so for those at home, <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing this. Sorry. I'm the one learning. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rook's so cute though. Hi, Rook. Oh, hi, Rook. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so cute. He's learning too. I like how there's just root vegetables on the well, yeah. counter. And that we know what a root vegetable is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, broccoli. Um, olive oil. Okay, I am like so almost out of olive oil. Do you want to use smoked sea salt? Sure. Maybe not. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of weird for chicken pot pie, right? 
I mean, we're already doing smoked paprika. So. Oh, we are doing smoked paprika. So Josh has smoked his own salt because Josh will smoke anything that he's allowed to smoke. Except the devil's lettuce. Yeah, except the devil's lettuce. I shouldn't say he just smokes anything. He smokes any food. Is that any Are we baking this? Yeah. Look at me go. Wow. I'm so fancy. A chef. A chef. A chef. I said I'm good at prepping. I'm not good at cooking. <laughs> that is the worst piece of parchment I've ever seen in my life. I would argue that yours was terrible. Are you kidding me with that? It would be more than that. Dum bum 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 ba dum. Bum 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 ba dum. Okay, so we're gonna bake this at 450 for how long? Until it's done. Yes. <laughs> You're learning. Okay. okay. We are going to make a roux. Do you know what a roux is? I think I do, only because of Josh. Okay, let's hear it's it. It's flour and something else. What's the something else? Because without the something else, it's just flour. Is it just water? Nope. Oil? That's paper butter? mache. Butter? Yes. Butter? <laughs> <laughs> paper mache. Okay, butter and flour. Yeah. Do you know what a roux does? No. Nice. <laughs> it thickens. Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Wait, why don't you just add flour to this? Because it would just be flour. <laughs> like you, it would be grainy, like it would be. Okay, so the butter changes it. Yes. <laughs> nice. <Perfect. laughs> How hot is your microwave? Just 30 seconds to make this. How hot is my microwave? <laughs> okay, so the broth is almost completely melted, so we're gonna move ahead with our lives. Yay. Um, Ashley, can you add the potato? Potatoes. And then to this, can you add a sploop of milk? Sploop of milk. I have lactose-free milk for my... <laughs> what? Use regular milk. Josh is lactose intolerant. We don't have regular milk. Okay, good luck, everybody. It's but it's the same milk. There's just a thing in it so that you can digest lactose. Okay, so it's like milk. It's milk. Okay, it's not great. like oat milk. Okay. Yeah. Just no, more than that. I'm talking spoop here. That's good. <laughs> Perfect. It's two percent. It's normal. All right. Okay. To the butter, can you add about just under a quarter? <laughs> add a quarter cup of flour. You want a little bit left? That's good. Okay, so we are mixing. You should be mixing. Sorry, sorry. So I did it, and that's fine. <laughs> now we're just gonna kind of wait. Does it go in? No, 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 not yet. <laughs> That's my other problem, is I always put things in at the wrong time. <laughs> like I make mac and cheese, and I put the cheese in before the milk, and then you have chunky mac and cheese. That's hilarious. Just I don't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we waiting for? Just it to cook? Yeah, we want it to boil. Um, I really should be taking mental notes, because I'm just kind of going through the motions and not paying so much attention. Bad student. That's bad student. student. Yeah. Yeah. Only kid in our family who has a degree. Bad student. <laughs> <laughs> We're adding corn. I can do this. Ow. Maybe not. So we're adding corn. What about the broccoli? Later. Now why don't we just put the broccoli in this? Soggy. Okay. Broccoli, if you are making broccoli and you are not roasting it in the oven, what you're doing is illegal. <laughs> it's just so much better roasting. I know, I know, I know. Okay. We're not hating. <laughs> so, we're gonna add the roux a little bit at a time. If you add too much roux, it just becomes thick and goopy and gross. So you want to um, find the right level. Okay. Okay, it looks delicious, but it's very liquidy. Yes, so the heat will also help thicken it. Delicious broccoli. Oh, yeah. these are the worst oven mitts. I know they don't work. <laughs> Broccoli's out, hand hurts, we're fine. <laughs> you gotta be quick. Okay, now we don't want to add the broccoli too soon because then it's all gonna break up. Right. All right, we're gonna add the chicken to the chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie chicken. That's so good. Yeah. I think it needs salt. I don't care about double dipping. We're a family here. <laughs> when you hear your family. Good, it does need salt. Tell me when. Ashley overseasons everything. <laughs> Take off the lid for it 
to go faster and it just all poured out. That's fine, we like it spicy. So Ashley over seasons everything. <laughs> this is my life. Too much pepper is fine. Too yeah. much salt is bad. Right. You know? Add some salt. Okay. <laughs> Pay attention to me. <laughs> Josh is actually gonna be so impressed. Like I know you're helping me, but I have never made anything <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Especially because like I always fix things by just adding spice. Right. And this is like not spicy. This right. is like basic. What do you call this? Like Suburban family meal, okay. right? Yep. We are now gonna add the broccoli. Yay! Um, are you able to lift and pour with rock or don't need to? Do that? Maybe you should do it. Oh my goodness! Puff pastry time? Puff pastry time! So, basically, put the six squares on top. So, again, if this was normal chicken pot pie, you'd put the crust on top but we're doing squares of puff pastry. I am now gonna put it in the oven because Ashley's holding a baby. But just imagine it's Ashley. <laughs> These are my hands. <laughs> and we cook it until it's done. I'm so proud. We're back and the food is ready. It's oh spilling my everywhere. Goodness. Oh my gosh, it's spilling everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm burning my hands. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Amazing. Wow, look at it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, I'm so excited. I feel like this part is always funny because it's like, mmm, it's great. You know, like I know it's gonna taste good. So hot. It's great. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Wow, I'm so ready to eat this and then take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you had one bite. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of weird video um, that's a bit out of the ordinary. If you like this video, you might want to follow along with my vlogs and see what kind of cooking adventures I get into now that I know one recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>